Hey now, I'm back with an amazing trading system based on Larry Williams' smash days. This entry strategy has performed so well during my manual backtesting that I had it coded into a trader's landing automated script. Just make sure to hit that subscribe button before your next trade winds up like this. One, two. Yay! Oh. <laughs> I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Hanko Trade, which is currently offering a deposit match of up to $25,000 by simply using my affiliate link. Hanko Trade believes in freedom. That is why they allow U.S. customers to not only trade CFDs like gold, oil, and indices, but also let us trade up to 500 times leverage. If that is not enough, their spreads are insanely low. Their support is amazing, and you do not have to navigate any KYC hoops. Hanko Trade is the broker that makes traders happy. That I can tell you. I call this system Smash the Charts. And like most trading systems, it can be adapted to Forex, crypto, options, stocks, indices, or any instrument that has significant volume and market participants. This trading strategy utilizes two free trading view indicators. As always, links and settings to all indicators are listed in the description. The first indicator is the 200 Exponential Moving Average, or EMA. I am going to set the length to 200 and color it in white. The 200 EMA is an excellent trend filter, and in Smash the Charts, we will only be taking longs above the white line and shorts below it. The second free trading view indicator are the ATR bands. I am going to set the upper band to 2 and color it in orange. The ATR attempts to measure market volatility and the bands will be used to set the stop loss level. Let's go over entry criteria and review some examples. As always, system rules and details are listed in the description below. This chart is Bitcoin versus the US dollar for our candles. The rules to enter along on Smash the Charts are First, price must be trading above the 200 EMA in white. Second, a bar must close below the previous two bars. Third, a bar must close above the previous lower bar. Our rules are met when this candle closes. That is our trigger candle. We place our stop at two times the ATR value of the trigger candle, which is the orange line below price, and the target is dynamic. Exit the trade when there is an opposite entry signal. Here we can see a bearish bar close below two bullish bars for a profit of 1.6 risk versus reward. If you enjoy this content, make sure to click that like button. I have one more long example. Price is trading above the 200 EMA in white. There are more than two bars that are closing lower than each other. Price then closes above the series of bearish bars. Everything converges on this candle and it serves as our trigger. The stop is placed at two times the ATR value of the trigger candle and our target is dynamic. The trade is closed when a bar closes below the previous two and we book a profit of 1.18 risk versus reward. Now we flip to shorts. This is what I will test for shorts. First, price is trading below the 200 EMA in white. Second, there are two or more bars that close above each other. Third, the entry is executed when a bar closes below the previous two bars that were in the bullish trend. All of that happens on this candle here. That is our trigger candle. The stop is placed at two times the ATR value above the trigger candle and the target is dynamic. Exit the trade when there is an opposite entry signal. Here we can see a bullish bar that closes above two bearish bars for a profit of 1.15 risk versus reward. I'm going to show you one more quick short example. First, price is trading below the 200 EMA in white. 
second, there are two bullish bars in a row. Then we can see a candle close below the previous two bullish bars. This is our trigger candle. The stop is placed at two times the ATR value above the trigger candle and the target is dynamic. Exit the trade when a candle closes above the previous two bullish bars. And short example two is booked with a profit of 2.87 risk versus reward. I'm going to give you some fantastic ideas on how we can improve this system along with a trader's landing score. And now it's time to do what I do. If you enjoy this content, hit the like button. Remember, this is just 222 tests on one instrument. If you are thinking of using this system, please do extensive back and forward testing and be sure to let our community know what you discover. This test was done on Bitcoin versus the US dollar for our candles. It took 144 months to find the 222 trades, which is pretty good on the H4. The average time in trade was about three and a half days. The win rate would be a deal breaker for any novice trader at just 23%. But an experienced trader would look at that profit factor at over two and a half and realize why the gain on account came in at almost 900%. The equity curve here is a slice of heaven. Even to the untrained eye, this system produces a wonderful up and to the right pattern. And I am going to show you how to adapt it to many other instruments and time frames to maximize its potential. I give this system a trader's landing score of nine because this is a straightforward system that can be easily adapted to different time frames and markets. However, if you go down to lower time frames, you can get eaten up by spreads and fees. Remember, the enemy of great is good. I have six ideas on how we can improve this system. All six ideas can be implemented manually or with the TradingView automated script. First, Larry Williams just created a strategy for entries without any rules around it. Keep in mind that in his book, he refers to the daily time frame, so you may need to adjust accordingly as you move below the D1 not taking trades with tight stops or avoiding instruments that are consolidating. Second, my testing indicates that you can increase the lookback candles to increase your win rate. For example, increasing the lookback from two to eight can get you into a more established trend. Third, you can further refine your entries by using two double exponential moving averages and then only taking positions when the two DEMAs are in line. Furthermore, you can use the same indicators I just mentioned for your exits to capture huge profits. Here we can use the cross of two DEMAs to capture this huge move in the market. Next, when the market structure is clear, changing the stop loss from the ATR to the previous swing can yield improved profits by increasing your average win versus reward ratio. Additionally, some other optimizations you can try are using a trailing stop loss based on an EMA, using a fixed stop loss based on the percentage of a particular move, or a simple fixed ATR stop loss. There are many other options that are in the script and that we will be discussing as it evolves. If you want to talk to me and interact with our community, in addition to supporting the work I am doing here, you can do so for free by registering for our circle community. And those who pick up a premium or elite membership will have access to the discussion and education spaces in addition to the TradingView automated scripts and a private video on my own personal trading system. Thanks for watching and have a great day because you deserve it.